Today, we're going to solve a classic coding interview problem called 3SUM in just three minutes. The problem is simple. You're given an integer array, and your task is to find all unique triplets whose sum is zero. The key point is that the triplets must not be duplicated. Let's look at a classic example. Suppose the array is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 4. There are two valid solutions. One is negative 1, negative 1, 2. The other is negative 1, 0, 1. Here, we treat triplets with the same values as duplicates, regardless of order. For example, 1, negative 1, 0 is considered the same as negative 1, 0, 1, so we only keep one of them. The most common solution uses sorting and the two-pointer technique. We first sort the array, then fix one number at index i. The remaining part becomes a two-sum problem on a sorted array, solved with a left and a right pointer. If the current sum is less than zero, we move the left pointer to the right to increase the sum. If it's greater than zero, we move the right pointer to the left to decrease it. When the sum is exactly zero, we record the triplet and move both pointers inward to continue searching. There are two simple rules to avoid duplicates. First, if the number at index i is the same as the previous one, we skip it. Second, after finding a valid triplet, we move both pointers and skip over any consecutive duplicate values. Additionally, if the number at index i is greater than zero, we can stop early because no triplet beyond this point can sum to zero. This approach runs in O of n squared time and uses O of one extra space. Let's continue with the example. First, i is at negative four. The left pointer starts at negative one and the right pointer is at two. The sum is negative three, which is less than zero, so we move the left pointer to the right, even when left moves to the next negative one, then to zero. And then to one, the sum is still less than zero. This tells us that no triplet starting with negative four can sum to zero, so we move on. Next, I moves to the first negative one. Left is at the second negative one, and right is at two. The sum is zero, so we record the first result, negative one, negative one, two. Then we move both pointers inward. Left moves to zero, right moves to one, and the sum is zero again. We record the second result, negative one, zero, one. After that, the pointers cross and this round ends. Moving on, I skips the duplicate negative one. When I reach a zero, the sum is three, so right moves left and the pointers meet, ending this round. Finally, I cannot continue as there aren't enough numbers left. The traversal is complete. 